Royal author Tom Bauer, known for his candid commentary on the British monarchy, didn't hold back in his assessment of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, lambasting what he views as their desperate efforts to repair their strained public image. Bauer's candid critique was delivered during an interview with GB News, where he didn't mince words. According to Bauer, the actions of Harry and Meghan are not just questionable but pretty nauseating. He raised concerns about their utilization of the Invictus Games as a means to mend their image and, in his words, promote themselves when major media outlets appear to have lost interest in their interviews. The experienced royal expert dissected various recent incidents involving the couple, starting with Prince Harry's outspoken confrontation with the media over what he perceived as their inadequate treatment of Afghan victims. He didn't stop there but also delved into the controversial entry of Prince Harry into St. George's Chapel on the anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's death, an action that drew mixed reactions from the public and media alike. Of course, one of the key points of criticism came in the form of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's involvement in the Invictus Games, which are known for celebrating the resilience and strength of wounded veterans. Bauer decried what he perceived as the couple's exploitation of this event for their own personal gain, accusing them of seeking attention and a platform when they seemingly lack other outlets. Bauer voiced his frustration at what he deemed media manipulation of the most extraordinary kind, denouncing their actions as ridiculous and nauseating. In his view, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are now perceived as imposters, and their use of the Invictus Games for self-promotion is emblematic of their desperation. However, Bauer was careful to distinguish between the value of the Invictus Games itself and how it is being co-opted. He lauded the event's brilliant concept and effective administration, giving credit to the organizers and participants. Nevertheless, he emphasized that Harry and Meghan's intentions and actions seem out of sync with the genuine purpose of the event, which is primarily focused on honoring veterans. Bauer also offered insights into the couple's predicament, suggesting that their recent actions stem from a lack of available platforms. He noted that major magazines are no longer interested in interviewing Meghan Markle, and media giants such as Spotify and Netflix appear to have cooled on commissioning their projects. This perceived decline in their opportunities has apparently pushed the couple to seek alternative avenues to maintain their visibility. Moreover, Bauer revealed an intriguing tidbit about Meghan Markle's next career move, writing her memoirs. He anticipates that this literary endeavor will prove to be a substantial moneymaker, potentially adding another dimension to the couple's post-royal life. In the midst of the Invictus Games event, Meghan Markle explained her tardiness by sharing her responsibilities as a mother, underscoring that even while fulfilling her public duties, she remains actively engaged in family life, taking care of her children, including Prince Archie and Princess Lilivet. This glimpse into her personal life is in stark contrast to the more polished and orchestrated public appearances often associated with the royal family. On another front, Prince Harry's Netflix documentary, Heart of Invictus, which was released last month, drew praise for its focus on wounded veterans from various countries and the personal stories that motivate them to participate in the games. However, it's essential to note that the couple's earlier Netflix docuseries, Harry and Meghan, received mixed reviews and failed to achieve the same level of impact. Bauer suggested that their attempts to navigate the world of streaming content may have hit some bumps in the road.